Nineteen-year-old Tara Calico was a sophomore at the University of New Mexico. On Tuesday, September the 20th, 1988, Tara left her home at about 9.30 a.m. to go on her daily bike ride along New Mexico State Road 47. She rode that route almost every morning and was sometimes accompanied by her mother, Patty Dole. However, Patty stopped riding with Calico after she felt that she had been stalked by a motorist. She advised her daughter to think about carrying mace, but Tara rejected the idea. On the morning of Calico's disappearance, she had told Patty to come and get her if she was not home by noon, as she had plans to play tennis with her boyfriend at 12.30. When her daughter did not return, Dole went searching for her along Calico's usual bike route but could not find her. She then contacted the police. Pieces of Tara's Sony Walkman and a cassette tape were later discovered along the road. Dole believed that she might have dropped them in an attempt to mark her trail. Several people saw Calico riding her bicycle, which has never been found. No one witnessed her presumed abduction, although several witnesses observed a light-coloured pickup truck, possibly a 1953 Ford, with a camper shell following closely behind her. On June the 15th, 1989, a Polaroid photo of an unidentified young woman and a boy, both gagged with black duct tape and seemingly bound, was discovered in the parking lot of a convenience store in Port St. Joe, Florida. The woman who found the photo said that it was in a parking space where a white, windowless Toyota cargo van had been parked. She said that the van was being driven by a man with a moustache, who appeared to be in his 30s. Police set up roadblocks to intercept the vehicle, but the man has never been identified. According to Polaroid officials, the picture had to have been taken after May 1989, because the particular film used in the photograph was not available until then. The photo was broadcast on national TV in July, and Dole was contacted by friends who had seen the show, and thought the woman resembled Calico. Relatives of Michael Henley, also of New Mexico, who had disappeared in April 1988, saw the episode and said that they believed he was the boy in the photo. On April the 21st, 1988, Nine-year-old Michael Henley Jr. went on a camping trip with his father and a family friend in the Zuni Mountains of New Mexico. The three of them had been at a campsite for less than 20 minutes when Michael disappeared. When they noticed that he was missing, they searched around the camp but found no trace of him. They figured that he had wandered off into the wilderness. His family, as well as the police and the National Guard, conducted a month-long search. They found no trace of him. Dole and Henley's parents both met with investigators and examined the Polaroid. Dole said that she was convinced it was Tara. She also noted that a scar on the woman's leg was identical to one that Tara had received in a car accident. In addition, a paperback copy of V.C. Andrews, My Sweet Audrina, said to be one of Tara's favourite books, can be seen lying next to the woman. Scotland Yard analysed the photo and concluded that the woman was Tara, but a second analysis by the Los Alamos National Laboratory disagreed. The FBI also analysed the photo, but these tests were inconclusive. Henley's mother said that she was almost certain it was Michael in the Polaroid. The identification of the boy in the photograph as Henley, however, is considered highly unlikely. His remains were discovered in June 1990 in the mountains, about seven miles from his family's campsite, 
from which he had disappeared, and 75 miles from where Tara disappeared. Police believe that Henley wandered off and died of exposure. In 2008, the Sheriff of Valencia County reported that he had received information that two teenagers had accidentally hit Tara with a truck, panicked and killed her. According to the Sheriff, the boys who knew Tara drove up behind her in a truck and some form of an accident followed. Tara later died and those responsible covered up the crime. The sheriff stated that he knew the names of those involved, but that without a body he could not make a case. He did not release the evidence that led him to this conclusion. Tara's stepfather, John Dole, said that the sheriff should not have made these comments if he was not willing to arrest anyone, and that strong circumstantial evidence should be enough for a conviction. In 2009, 20 years after the Polaroid photo was found and shared by the media, pictures of a boy were sent to the Port St. Joe Police Chief, David Barnes. He received two letters, postmarked June the 10th and August the 10th, 2009, from Albuquerque, New Mexico. One letter contained a photo printed on copy paper of a young boy with sandy brown hair. Someone had drawn a black band in ink on the photo over the boy's mouth, as if it were covered in tape, as in the 1989 picture. The second letter contained an original image of the boy. On August the 12th, the Star newspaper in Port St. Joe received a third letter, also postmarked in Albuquerque on August the 10th, showing the same image of a boy with black marker drawn over his mouth. The boy has not been confirmed to be the same one as in the previous photo. None of the letters contained a return address or a note indicating the child's identity, making the officials there believe it may have something to do with the disappearance of Tara Calico. The letters were sent at the same time that a self-proclaimed psychic had called about Tara, saying that she had met a runaway in California with whom she worked in a strip club. This girl was eventually murdered. The caller said she had dreams suggesting the runaway may have been Tara and that she may be buried in California. Searches did not lead to any discoveries. The photos were given to the FBI for further investigation in the hope of finding fingerprints or possible DNA evidence. On October 1st, 2019, the FBI announced that they are offering a reward of up to $20,000 for precise details leading to the identification or location of Tara Calico and information leading to the arrest and conviction of those responsible for her disappearance. In September 2021, the Valencia County Sheriff's Office and the New Mexico State Police issued a statement that they have a new lead in the case and that the focus of a sealed warrant for an unknown private residence located within Valencia County has been issued. However, no further details were provided.